And now I'm going to add some low, low epic strings. Here you can hear how these strings sound. I really, really like them. In this video, I will show you how I write a score for a short piece of film using the new Seaboard Rise 2 and sounds from Equator 2. I got the new Seaboard Rise 2 in the mail a few weeks ago and this is actually my first time trying to write a score from scratch using it. I've been able to play it here and there and get a sense of the instrument but this is a real test for me to use it for the first time. Since Rolly updated a bunch of the hardware features in the instrument I am very curious to see how that influences my scoring process and how it makes it maybe faster and more optimal. This is the first of a series of two videos in which I will share my experience with the new instrument. In this first video you'll see more of the craft and the process and how I utilize it to create this score. And then in the second video you're gonna see my review overall of my experience using the Seaboard Rise 2. I have been a Rolly user for over six years now, starting with the original Seaboard Rise and then the Seaboard Block, the Song Maker Kit, the Lumi Keys, and now this very beautiful new instrument that I'm very excited to try and to add to my film scoring world. For the people who don't know, my name is Juan Dusan. I am a composer for media based in New York. I work on productions from films, short films, to advertising, podcasts, and other types of media. If you want to have a closer look at my music and my portfolio, please make sure to check out my Instagram at jpdusan. I have been making videos with the Seaboard for a long time. I started my YouTube channel making covers of film scores all inside of the Seaboard. And I did music from Black Panther to Stranger Things, Coco, Interstellar, and many more. So without further ado, let's get started with this score using the Seaboard Rise 2. So of course I made some coffee and now I'm ready to start scoring this film. I'm going to import the video, which is a teaser that Rolly put out with the Rice 2 earlier this year. Making sure all the settings are fine. And now I'm just going to play around with the video and the click. I'm just looking for synchronization. Going to try a different tempo. And mainly looking to synchronize the text, the fades, and the downbeats. After watching it for a couple of seconds and find that maybe 105 is the right tempo for this video. All the fades start and stop with the downbeats of the measures. It has a nice pacing to it. Not too fast, not too slow. It's matching the edits of the video. So now I'm going to go ahead and open Equator 2 with one of my favorite patches that I made. Right now I'm just trying to find a good key center to start writing this cue. And I think D minor is the right one for this. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying down some ideas.
So as you can see, it's pretty simple, uh, just a few chords, and I'm pretty much looking for textural stuff here. This is a really cool patch that I found, it's, it's randomized brass. And it's really cool because it brings this whole level of textural elements to the cue. It's really cool to use, it's very easy, and it sounds very interesting at the same time. So that's the sound I chose to layer. Now I'm finding a cool bass to add some tension to the whole piece, some momentum. I'm using the XY pad to modify some of the effects of this patch because I don't want it to start too loud. I just want it to start very faintly and then increment in size as I go. slide and it sounds bigger just came up with another bass instrument here to add some punch this one patch has a little bit of a sub bass if you slide up which is really cool to add some low end to the whole piece here fixing some of the notes because I sometimes don't play pretty accurately to the tempo. cool that the piece ends in a question because the product is not yet released. I'm just searching for some other sounds that help me come up with a melody for this piece. As you can see, I love to play with the glide functions and the rise too. This sound has enough power. I think this is the one that I'm gonna use for this cue. That's gonna be our theme. And now I'm just adding a couple other notes on top. Now I'm just looking to add some layers and the blow end. And I found this really cool piano instrument that has a very scary but punchy feel to it. I feel like it adds to the epicness of the track a little bit.
adding some strings in the end so that the Rolly logo is not in silence. And now I'm gonna add some low, low epic strings. Here you can hear how these strings sound, I really really like them. Just adjusting some of the room reverb so that they fit more in the space of the track. Adding some short reverb and making sure that the attack of the strings is not too harsh. I just love how they're very focused, but at the same time, they feel big. So now I'm looking for some extra sound effects that help me make this a little bit more interesting. And I found this patch called Idealis. It's an arpeggiated synth line that I think would go really well with the whole track. That's great. It gives it a lot of energy. with the XY pad. Very organic, very easy to program all these effects. Now let's listen to the entire cue and see what the results are. Now I'm just going to go ahead and bounce the audio and export the score to the film. And with this, I think we have a completed score for this piece of film using the Rice 2 and the Equator. So that's my score for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. You can check out a full length version of this scoring process in this uncut version You'll see all sorts of things in my compositional process, including improvisation, messing around with ideas, looking for sounds, and also some tips and tricks that I do in Logic to make it a lot more efficient for me in my scoring process. So I encourage you to go check out that video if you're interested in learning more about my process and having a seat right next to me at my studio. I hope you liked this video. It was a really exciting experience for me and I learned a lot about this new instrument. I have a lot of thoughts and I would like to share those with you in the next video. So stay tuned for that.